As they say in PIHL hockey, let's do that PIHL hockey. Hello, good evening, and welcome. I'm Matt Popchuk, and this is PIHL Hockey Night Live on the PIHL channel, part of 10 Band TV. And it's all presented by the Massage Envy in McCandless Township. And tonight, game one of two in our week seven opening doubleheader here at the Barrel Ice Complex. The Galaxy Rink in Warrendale, Pennsylvania brings us to the single A classification of the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Hockey League. One of the most vastly improved teams in the league in the league's deepest classification is taking the ice tonight, putting their undefeated record on the line against a team that's come all the way from the Flood City in search of win number one in 23-24. It is the Hilltoppers of Westmont Hilltop at the Avonworth Antelopes. And these Class 1A Blue Division combatants are into their warm-up skate as we get ready for tonight's first contest on this Monday night. Just a couple of weeks before the Thanksgiving holiday in western Pennsylvania. And for the Avonworth Antelopes, well, what a 22-23 campaign it was for their head coach, Stephen LaShawn, in his first year in charge of the varsity club. It came all the way down to the wire, and it came down to a heartbreaking loss to North Catholic in the regular season finale that, in an alternate reality, would have knocked Avonworth out of playoff contention. But when Montour was rolled ineligible, Avonworth was bumped into a Penguins Cup playoff spot and gave the eventual Penguins Cup champion, Kiski Area, a game, leading 2-0 before falling 4-3 in the opening round of the single-A Penguins Cup playoffs. And the Lopes come in tonight, proud owners of a 5-0 record and a virtual dead heat with Chartiers Valley, another unbeaten team, atop the PIHL Class 1A Blue Division. And they're doing it with one of the most fiery offenses in the single-A classification, featuring a number of top returnees, including number 27 in white, Connor Ralston, the junior all-star, Four goals, three assists, seven points. He's only appeared in a few games this season, but he will be in the lineup for Stephen LaShawn tonight. Ralston, also in the uniform of the Shaha Panthers and S Mark Stars travel teams, has been plying his trade. He comes in with 18 career PIHL goals, 44 career PIHL points, and a 10 game regular season point streak dating back to the previous PIHL regular season. In the assist column, Jack Dolan, the sophomore forward leading the charge with eight helpers for Avonworth. He and Silas Newhouse Godine, the senior defenseman, are tied for fourth in the single-A classification with their eight assists apiece. Dolan with a three-point night at Richland and a blowout victory of the Richland Rams back on November the 7th this past Tuesday. Newhouse Godine with three helpers in his last two games played. A lot of balance in that Avonworth lineup. And for the Westmont Hilltop Hilltoppers, they're a team very much on the rebuild. A very young team at that, led by third-year head coach Chris Carlson, son of Steve Carlson, he of Slapshot movie fame. Carlson leading a team with eight freshmen and six sophomores. And in the year that the PIHL is celebrating its 25th anniversary, it's appropriate that we get a look at these Hilltoppers tonight. The original commissioner of the PIHL, Ed Sam, always did everything he could to make sure that diversity and inclusion was the name of the game. To wit, this year's Hilltopper squad, three female players on their 18-player varsity roster, including both goaltenders, including the number one goaltender, Cassidy Newman, the woman in between the pipes for Chris Carlson's team. Newman, just a sophomore coming into this year, 204 minutes played, tied for the eighth most saves among all goaltenders in PIHL Class A with 130 of those as she seeks her first victory of the regular season. And behind her, the freshman, the first-year player, Megan Harbaugh, who made her varsity debut on Halloween night in a loss against Moon. Now, for Westmont Hilltop, well, the offense has been very hard to come by as they've limped into Week 7 with an 0-5 overall record, sitting at the bottom of the 12-team Blue Division. Their last taste of victory in PIHL regular season play, February 9th of the previous regular season, a 7-3 victory at the War Memorial against the Plum Mustangs. The Hilltoppers featuring a number of freshmen, as I said, including number 26 in red and dark gray. Connor Jones warming up off to our right. Jones in the team's most recent defeat, a 9-2 setback at the hands of Chartiers Valley. Now he scored his first varsity goal 
And behind Jones, you've got Ethan Downey, number seven, also a first-year varsity player with three points in his first four varsity games under Chris Carlson. In just a couple of minutes, it'll be the Hilltoppers at the Lopes. One team perfect, one team trying to get onto the left side of the ledger for the first time in regular season play this year. It's a PIHL Hockey Night Live doubleheader here on the PIHL channel, part of 10 Band TV, presented by the Massage Envy in McCandless Township. And we are thrilled to be able to bring it to you a couple of Class 1A contests tonight. We begin in the Blue Division later on. We will take a look at the Gold Division, a key matchup coming there later that we are very excited about. As these teams are just about out of their warm-up skate. And we're ready to drop the puck here in the North Hills area. Now, a lot of good hockey being played by North Hills area teams through the first six weeks of PIHL regular season play. This Avonworth team was a co-op team right around the time the pandemic hit. They stayed in the co-op division. They built up their numbers. They had some decent playoff runs in the co-op tournament. Then last year, they moved up to the single-A classification and had a great run. And because of the aforementioned mitigating circumstances with Montour, they found their way into the Penguins Cup playoffs. And we've seen this movie before with Avonworth. They're a team that started piping hot last year as well, but then they really cooled off in a big way and had trouble getting their footing back as the regular season went on. This Avonworth team is playing a brand of hockey at both ends of the ice that quite frankly, looks much more sustainable. They've got a lethal offense. They have been one of the best defensive teams with or without the play of their goaltender, Danny Mack, who was not an all-star last year, but arguably could have been with his numbers. One of the hardest working and, in terms of minutes played, busiest goaltenders in the league a year ago. And Mack is the probable starter, the junior, for Avonworth tonight. Stephen LaShawn, once again, the man behind the bench in year number two as the man in charge of the varsity club. Chris Carlson taking over from the legendary Art the Judge McQuillan, taking over the Westmont varsity program back in 2020 when McQuillan stepped aside to take the head coaching job at Westmont's arch rival, Bishop McCourt. Funnily enough. And this young Hilltoppers team is about to get a very tough test from an Avonworth team that is very young in its own right. 12 sophomores on Stephen LaShawn's varsity roster, but also seven seniors and a lot of talent in this year's Avonworth senior class. And it'll be on display for us here tonight in game one of two of our doubleheader. And in goal for Westmont, it will be indeed the sophomore Cassidy Newman opposing the presumed starter, Danny Mack, who corroborates my suspicion. And we're ready for the opening faceoff. Austin Gaddy in white, Colby Carlson in red, and the Lopes control the opening faceoff and move that puck from left to right on your TV, computer, or mobile device to begin game one of our doubleheader. Hilltoppers unable to exit their zone. Here's Jake Seifarth in the right wing circle being escorted off the puck by the stick of defenseman Jacoby Sell, the sophomore. Around the boards it comes. Played by the Lopes, far corner. Connor Ralston behind the net for Seifarth. Seifarth, who came in with seven points of his own, three goals, four assists, playing this puck out in front off a couple of Hilltopper sticks as they try to insulate Cassidy Newman, their netminder, and Westmont sends it almost the length of the ice as Avonworth retreats to play it. Given away to Ethan Downey, the freshman at the left point. He puts it into the opposite corner, and the Lopes retake possession, and they'll outlet this puck to Austin Gaddy. Gaddy, a senior and an all-star last season for Avonworth over the attacking line. Gaddy, top of the left circle, wrist shot on goal, and that's knocked aside at the far post by Newman. Out in front it comes, shot, score! Cooper Powell nuzzles that nylon 67 seconds in. The sophomore's fifth goal of the season, and it is 1-0 Avonworth. Very clinical puck movement by the Lopes down low, and this Avonworth team 
which came in with 36 total goals, second most in their division, fourth most of the 24 teams in the entire 1A classification, has tacked on another. A fast start for the home side as Newhouse Godin plays it defensively for Avonworth. Connor Jones, the freshman, playing it in the corner for Westmont as it comes back to center for Cooper Powell. Powell over the attacking line. Powell to the goal. Powell makes his move. Powell shoots. Say made this time. It's under the stomach of Cassidy Newman who holds on. Well, Newman this past spring wearing the uniform of Team Northeast. Oh, wait, did that go in? We did not see an official signal. They're awarding Avonworth a goal, I think. This is going to be a goal for Cooper Powell, and this is going to be his second goal of the first period. Oh, they're lining up for the faceoff at center ice. I did not see the official point to the net to indicate a goal, but they're going to say that Newman did not have full control of that puck as it dribbled over the line. So sneaky, sneaky, Cooper Powell, the sophomore, has two quick strikes early for Avonworth, and the Lopes are out in front by a pair. And now Newman will cover at the near post of that much, we are certain. To finish my thought, Newman in the new uniform, excuse me, of Team Northeast in the PIHL Girls Division last season, the newest of the seven PIHL Girls Division teams. Seventh in minutes played in the Girls Division last spring. Finished with a 3-3 and 0 mark in regular season play. Third in goals against a 227 and had an 879 save percentage as Team Northeast fell in the opening round of the girls' division playoffs to Team Central. In the meantime, Cooper Powell has half a dozen goals, and Westmont nearly pulled one back. Brett Hoffman, the sophomore, was right on Danny Mack's doorstep, but Mack got enough of it to keep it out of the net. Out in front it comes. Carlson unable to finish that backdoor play. Carlson with it again, trying to pull it to the forehand, but lost the puck in the process. Baylor Kirsch, who has also been a backup goaltender for Stephen LaShawn's team, dressed as a skater tonight for Avonworth, brings this puck in behind the official's crease. And the loops reset and coming over the Westmont blue line one more time. Goals number five and six for Cooper Powell, the Avonworth sophomore, within the first minute 30 of first period play. And Avonworth off to a hot start early here against the beleaguered Hilltoppers. And despite the public address announcement, that goal will go to Powell. That will be his second. Ralston now driving the net. Ralston to the forehand. Save made by Newman. She covers in the blue paint. Newman in her last appearance, a career high in saves. 45 stops in the 9-2 loss to Chartiers Valley at the War Memorial last Tuesday. Hilltoppers win the face off in their own zone. Alex Nilsson, the sophomore blue liner, trying to get it up the boards, but can't. And the Lopes have scored. Jake Seifarth buries from down low in the left wing circle. Seifarth has four goals on the air. The Lopes have three goals in just over three minutes. Avonworth three, Westmont Hilltop nothing here in the first period in Warrendale. Retreating off the ensuing faceoff is Nilsson defensively. Nilsson fans on the clearing attempt. And here come the Lopes out in front. It's played wide of goal. Seifarth going in after that deflected puck. And he pulls it into his possession. Seifarth between the circles. Seifarth trying to drop it down low. Maybe one too many passes there as he was trying to hook up with Gaddy. But they could not connect. Avonworth still on the forecheck as the Hilltoppers finally exhaust their area. And make some changes on the fly. Connor Rolston, who picked up the helper on the Seifarth goal. Seifarth drives the net. Thank you, sir. May I have another 4-0 Lopes. And guess what? Connor Rolston's going to get another assist on a Jake Seifarth goal. Four Avonworth goals in under four minutes. And the Lopes, who are playing the first of three in a row at home here at the Barrel Ice Complex, are putting on a show for the Avonworth faithful.
Aiden O'Dell with five goals in his first three games. He had ten points all of last year. He's looking like he's poised for a breakout year. He brings this puck into the corner for Cooper Powell. Near side it comes. Doolin playing it on the half wall for Odell. Odell stick-checked by Colby Carlson. Near corner it comes. Cooper Powell bounces it in behind the net. Meeting that puck at the far boards, Sam Klein, the sophomore. Behind the net it comes. And Westmont able to get its stick on the puck and work this puck up to center ice for Brett Hoffman. Hoffman chips it into the corner, but did not quite have the red line when he did so, and so icing is called against the Hilltoppers, and you know, when it rains, it pours. And off the faceoff, it comes to the corner. It's put off a of Westmont skate. And in behind the net, it comes wraparound try through the blue paint. Newman watches it go by. And Garrett Kramer fired that puck from right point. That missed everything and went into the far corner before the Hilltoppers cleared it one more time. And again, it's going to be icing on the visitors. Jimmy Shields, the sophomore, on to take this face off as Newman makes a partial save with her left hand. Avonworth controlling off the face off again as Kramer plays it inside the blue line for Baylor Kirsch. Centering pass intended for Shields. And that pass misfired. Shields with a nifty maneuver in the far corner to regain possession. Cross ice for Kramer. Kramer snapshot. Save. Newman. No rebound. Both teams making wholesale changes before this faceoff in Westmont Ice. 11 and a half to go in the first period. Avonworth exploding for four early goals, and they lead the Hilltoppers 4-0 here in PIHL Class 1A Blue Division action. To the right point it comes for Newhouse Godine. Shields trying to keep the play alive. He does for Newhouse Godine, who put it off the goaltender stick of Cassidy Newman. Ethan Downey gets it back to center. And leading the charge the other way is Colby Carlson. Carlson trying to center for Hoffman. Hoffman off balance. Unable to tee that up. A good recovery there by Kirsch defensively. And he gets it up ahead to Jackson Pukillo. Pukillo puts it just wide here in his varsity debut. 23-24, the sophomore. Newhouse Godine retreating defensively. Hilltoppers play it. Wide of the goal mouth. Avonworth behind its own net. Chipping it around Hoffman. It's cut off in the corner by Downey. Ethan Downey draws a double team. Gaddy trying to win that battle for Avonworth as it comes to the corner. Silas Newhouse Godine giving it away to one of the Hilltoppers. That's Downey again. Downey center point. Oh, unable to hang on to that puck was Sell, the sophomore. And Seifarth gains the red line and dumps it in. Hilltoppers work it back to center. Johnny Smallwood, junior defenseman, up ahead for team captain Austin Gaddy. Gaddy pivoting at the right point. Goes cross ice with that pass. Eventually it comes to Smallwood. Smallwood with a Hilltopper right in his path, trying to get that puck down low. Smallwood has it for the lope still. To the corner for Ralston. Ralston out in front. Ralston off balance shot. Hit the crossbar. The all-star finding metal but not mesh with his team in command. To the point it comes. Smallwood just in the nick of time able to keep it. But a turnover to Westmont allows the Hilltoppers to ice this puck with 9.32 to go in the first period. Avonworth, as I said, playing their first of three straight to come here at the Barrel Ice Complex. Nice little early season pre-Turkey Day homestand for the Lopes, if you will, as this shot is deflected off an Avonworth skate. That was Aiden O'Dell catching the friendly fire. Kramer's shot from distance is just wide. 
It looked like Dolan, the sophomore, was looking for a deflection out in front. Wraparound try. Newman there to make the save. The rebound is covered by the Westmont sophomore. The Hilltoppers, in contrast, playing their first of three away from Johnstown. Westmont, losers in its first two uh, away contests, I should say, this regular season. Avonworth, symmetrically, they're 2-0 at home coming into the night. Kramer putting it wide. Cooper Powell, who has the first two goals of this game for Avonworth, centers it, but it comes underneath the stick of Dolan and all the way back to center. Inside the Avonworth blue line. Good hustle by Hoffman. Hoffman to the goal. Scoring! Brett Hoffman makes that donut disappear for the Hilltoppers. The sophomore has his first of the season. And Westmont has a lifeline with 8.49 to go in period one. Now we saw a game on the island last week. Exactly a week ago, actually, that started out a 4-0 laugher. Turned into a 5-4 nail-biter that was controversially curfewed with a few seconds to spare. And a lot of time left in this one as well as we approach the midpoint of period one. Pukillo gets it deep for Avonworth. Baylor Kirsch playing it near corner. Up the boards it comes. And Sam Klein's shot is deflected wide. Hilltoppers trying to give their goaltender some defensive support as the Lopes have gotten it right back. And it is Baylor Kirsch. Kirsch scoring for the first time as a skater in 2023-2024. And it is 5-1 Avonworth, 8-16 remaining first period. Now, that's a tough one for the Hilltoppers to give up after the Hoffman breakaway goal. A well-played goal by Hoffman after a cheaply given away puck by the Lopes. But the Lopes atone quickly for their mistake in the attacking zone. And they regain the four-goal cushion. Carlson retreating. Pass across two lines. Right on the tape for Downey. Downey to the corner for Hoffman. The Hilltopper goal scorer. Lopes trying to play it defensively. It comes up to Shields. Shields to center for Pukillo. Pukillo over the attacking line, one on two. Snapshot. That caught the crossbar. Oh, a couple of metallurgy saves, to quote Doug McLeod, by Cassidy Newman in this opening frame. 14 shots on goal in the early going for Avonworth to three for Westmont Hilltop with seven and a half and then some remaining in the period. And Westmont wins a defensive zone faceoff, but can't control this puck. And it is Smallwood taking a hard bump from one of the Hilltoppers in front of his own bench. Now that's Nate Ling laying the lumber on the Avonworth youngster. And Seiferth, meanwhile, counterattacks for the Lopes. Draw pass, snapshot, score! The cap and makes it happen. Austin Gaddy's third of the year makes it a 6-1 game in favor of Avonworth. 7-11 remaining first period. Seifarth off the ensuing faceoff. Seifarth driving the net. Seifarth forces a save from Newman and gets his own rebound right back. That rebound given away, however, to Gunnar Montanero, the freshman. Lopes put it between the circles for Gaddy, who was just too well covered. Near side it comes, and a chance the other way, possibly for Hoffman. Deja vu. Hoffman shoots just wide this time. Ralston. Off his own boards and just outside the Avonworth blue line. Hilltoppers have to tag up, much to their own chagrin. Newhouse Godine puts it inside the Westmont blue line as the Hilltoppers send it back to center. The alternate captain, Gavin Replogle, the junior. One of only two juniors on the Westmont side 
doing the honors. And here comes Rolston down the right wing side. Rolston knocked off that puck. Regains possession. And crisscrosses with Gaddy in the near corner. It comes free to uh, Rolston again, excuse me. Rolston losing possession. Backing him up is Seifarth. Seifarth cross ice. And that shot by Klein just missed the net. Seifarth, the big forward in the far, far corner. Out in front for Ralston. And the Hilltoppers get too many sticks in the lane to their credit. Gaddy puts it off a of Westmont stick. Gaddy all alone driving the net. And the save is made by Newman. And the rebound is not a goal to the Lopes. It is a high stick on the puck. It looked like Seifarth swatted it out of midair, but officials right on top of the play saying he did so with a high stick. So this faceoff will come outside the Westmont zone with under five and a half to go in the first. Safco and Gadosh, the USA hockey crew on duty tonight, and they were right on top of that one very quickly disallowing the would-be goal as Newman is forced to make a save from her knees and cover for a face-off. And we're going to see some elevation in the standings in the Blue Division tonight, it appears, as the Lopes are off to a hot start, leading 6-1 to one with time ticking away in period one. Avonworth and Chartiers Valley, the last two unbeaten teams in the 12-team Blue Division as Newman makes a save from distance on Kramer, and the rebound is smashed in by Jack Dolan, his team leading 12th point unofficially of the regular season, and it comes in the form of goal number four for the sophomore. Lopes, seven, Hilltoppers, one, with just under five minutes to play in the first period. To the Westmont blue line it comes. Aiden O'Dell in pursuit. Dolan has his puck on the off wing, trying to center it. Newman struggling to control that one as the Hilltoppers work it up to center. Hoffman, the alternate captain, had that puck roll off his stick as Newhouse Godine plays it along the boards and takes a bump from Hoffman in the process. Cooper Powell, who had the first two goals of this contest, plays it behind his own net for Avonworth. Near side it comes to Newhouse Godine for Sam Klein. Klein from his own boards gave it away to one of the Hilltoppers. That was Downey camped out of the blue line, but Downey couldn't hang on to it. And here's Dolan on the off wing. Dolan on his backhand forcing the save from Newman, who can't find the rebound. It's loose. It's chipped wide of goal. And the Lopes are just toying with a sophomore, it seems, at this point. Side of that out in front. Score. Aiden O'Dell finishes the play, and Mercy does exist in this dojo as the PIHL Mercy roll will go into effect with 3.56 to go in period one. Lopes with a seven goal advantage here in the first period. Triggering the PIHL, Mercy Roll is driving the net and missing on a follow-up attempt is Pukillo. Pukillo getting overzealous in the process as he smashes into Cassidy Newman. And Newman, as the net is put back on its moorings, appears to be no worse for the wear, fortunately. And this face-off is going to be called for outside Hilltopper's ice in light of the goaltender interference. Aiden O'Dell had five goals in his first three games this season, but had gone the last two without one. Well, he's back on track. He's got six on the campaign now. Again, the PIHL mercy roll now in effect as the clock will run continuously here at the Barrel Ice Complex. Barring 
a coach's timeout, an injury, heaven forbid, or something along those lines. Now we've seen it stop for goals also, and there have been occasions on which we've seen it not stop for goals. So it is seemingly at the official's discretion. Once again, Safco and Gadosh, your USA hockey crew for game number one tonight here inside the Galaxy Rink. Smallwood entering the zone offside as Pukillo was a little bit ahead of the play. Four points in this first period for Cooper Powell, including the game's first two goals. A three-point period for Jake Seifarth. And a couple of helpers for Connor Ralston. And that's the least of the damage the Lopes have done here as they return to home ice for the first of three straight. Avonworth on its way to going to 6-0 on the young season and keeping pace with Chartiers Valley atop the Blue Division as this puck is backhanded on Newman, who makes a loud kick save. And the Lopes, do they have another? Yes, they do. I believe it was Gaddy who whacked that one in behind a prone Newman. And that'll make it a 9-1 game in favor of the Lopes. To the point for Newhouse Godine. Newhouse Godine deflecting that shot from distance off the stick of Ralston, it appeared. And a chance the other way for Hoffman. Hoffman trying to win the foot race with Gaddy. Gaddy's going to get there first. Hoffman in battling for that puck, but Gaddy protects it and gets it back to center. Ralston, two on one with Seifarth. Ralston right wing side. Ralston shooting, scoring. The Lopes in double digits with 41.8 ticks to talk. And I believe this crew is instructing the scores table to continue to run the clock and reminding them that the mercy roll is in fact in effect as we previously mentioned. This follow up shot by Odell is put wide of goal. Puck back to center. Dolan and Klein connecting defensively as it's up to Cooper Powell. Cooper Powell inside the blue line. Powell cross ice for Aiden Odell. Odell unable to handle that bouncing pass. Five seconds remaining in the first period. A first period that has been dominated by the Avonworth Antelopes here at home. The Lopes lead the Westmont Hilltop Hilltoppers 10 to 1 through 1 at the Barrel Ice Complex in Warrendale, PA. I'm Matt Popchuk, and you're watching PIHL Hockey Night Live on the PIHL channel, part of 10 Band TV, presented by the Massage Envy in McCandless Township. self-care from professional massage therapists and estheticians. It's what we do. Massage Envy, where better begins.
And special thanks to our new sponsor, Massage Envy, for sponsoring the 2023-2024 season of PIHL Hockey Night Live on the PIHL channel, part of 10 Band TV. Scan the Massage Envy QR code on your screen throughout tonight's doubleheader for a $75 first visit for a massage or facial, select locations only. Matt Popchock back on board with you here in Warrendale at the Barrel Ice Complex, the Galaxy Rink. Hosting both games of our Week 7 doubleheader tonight here on 10 Band TV, presented by the Massage Envy in McCandless Township. Avonworth on route to a Mercy Roll victory here over the Westmont Hilltop Hilltoppers as the Lopes have taken a 10-1 lead into the second period of play. Avonworth coming in, sharing the top spot in the Class 1A Blue Division standings with Chartiers Valley, another vastly improved team from last season. The Hilltoppers, the last winless club in the Blue Circuit, comprised of 12 Class 1A teams. The Gold Division also has 12 teams this year. It's an even number this year with the addition of Richland High School to the Blue Division, returning to the PIHL after a 14-year absence. The Hilltoppers looking for their first win in regular season play since February 9th, and barring some radical developments, it looks like that wait will be prolonged as this puck goes out of play early in second period action. The clock continues to wind, and it winds under 15.25 and counting here in the second period with the PIHL Mercy Roll having long since gone into effect. Avonworth scoring the game's first four before Brett Hoffman's breakaway goal. Got the Hilltoppers on the board. Lopes with half a dozen unanswered since. One of the four highest scoring teams in the single link classification coming in. And those, those uh, numbers getting a big boost tonight as Avonworth has scored again. And it is Randy Beaven. The freshman with his second goal of the season, scoring from the left point, sneaking that shot in behind Newman, and that'll make it Avonworth 11, Westmont 1. Nilsson wins the faceoff for the Hilltoppers, brings it behind his own net. Nilsson out in front to Montanero. Montanero giving it away to Gaddy. Gaddy from above the left circle plays this puck in front, deflected on goal. Newman makes a save right in front. At the point, it's Seifarth sending that puck around the boards and keeping it alive is Sam Klein at the right point. Klein had that puck go off his feet. Gaddy keeps it alive before he's tripped. Play continues. Gaddy recovers in front of the Avonworth bench, but can't out-muscle Connor Jones, the freshman. Lopes still digging for this puck. Bevan, the most recent goal scorer, in behind the net. And another one of the Lopes dumped as he was trying to play the puck. As Avonworth continues to saw wood here in Westmont territory. Jones unable to clear. Seifarth from the left point. And eventually it comes to Connor Gorman, and Gorman will send it nearly, nearly the length of the ice, excuse me. Danny Mack calmly leaving his net to play it. Gaddy in behind the goal line. And this will be sent by the Hilltoppers all the way back into Avonworth ice. Seifarth playing it carefully with Downey bearing down on him. Up it comes to Jack Dolan. Dolan. Tries to center between the circles for an oncoming Aiden O'Dell. That pass did not connect. Dolan plays takeaway at the center circle. And he has this puck now for the Lopes. Dolan over the blue line. Dolan one on three. Dolan makes one more maneuver. Drifting to the right wing circle. Puts it off a Westmont body. Montanero giving himself up to deflect that centering pass. Downey plays it legally with a high stick and chips it past Dolan. That puck cut off by Smallwood at his own blue line. Smallwood into the attacking zone for Avonworth. 
trying to go down low to Cooper Powell, who was driving the net, but Powell ran out of a room. Out in front, it comes to Dolan. Dolan's one-timer from the left circle is denied by Newman. To the point, it's slapped toward goal. Newman makes a stick save, unable to control the rebound. The Lopes have it. Cross-ice pass is partially deflected and taken by Downey back to center ice. Downey for Hoffman. Hoffman lets it go as the Hilltoppers and Chris Carlson want to make a line change here with under 12 to go to the ice cut, if there is, in fact, an ice cut. We have seen mercy roll games in which there was none in light of the score, and recently we saw a mercy roll game in which there was one at the Ice Castle. Cooper Powell for Aiden O'Dell. Smallwood pressuring for Avonworth. Smallwood one on two, trying to go out in front. That pass deflected off O'Dell's stick, and the shot attempt was knocked wide before it got on net. No icing, officials say. As Powell has to go fetch. And he gave it away to Nate Ling. Ling out in front off the side of the net. That's denied by Danny Mack. Mack hugging that near post as the Hilltoppers look for a greasy goal out in front. But the Lopes are going to work this puck back to center. Cooper Powell, one on two, has Kirsch open. Drop pass instead. Snapshot over the glove hand of Newman. Up through center it comes, and Ethan Downey, the only man there, and he's going to win that race easily for Westmont Hilltop. Downey in the corner, knocked off that puck, which comes back to center for Connor Rolston. Rolston, right wing circle. Rolston hits the brakes. Cross ice for Seifarth. Seifarth, far corner for Baylor Kirsch. Up to the point it comes for Ralston. Ralston's shot from distance is blocked, and the Hilltoppers are trying to get it back to center. They can't. This snapshot from 45 feet put wide. Connor Ralston, the everywhere man right now for Avonworth on this shift, is going to go in after this puck deep in his own zone. Ralston eventually finding some space and plays it through center ice. Scooped up by Replogle. Intercepted by the Lopes. It comes down low, but it's cut off by one of the Hilltoppers. That was Replogle, the alternate captain, helping Westmont clear the zone. Rolston in after this dump in one more time. And he's taken off the puck by Gorman. Seifarth backing him up. He gains the red line and sends it in with 9.20 to go on a running second period clock. Avonworth with an 11-1 lead here over Westmont Hilltop in Class 1A Blue Division action. Week 7 of the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Hockey League regular season commencing on this Monday night in Western Pennsylvania. Matt Popchuk, glad to be on board with you for another PIHL Hockey Night Live doubleheader on the PIHL channel. Gaddy waits, watches, shoots, save made. Newman off the right skate. Newhouse Godine was trying to take her eyes away, but Newman hung in there. Bevan from center red, trying to chip it around Connor Jones. It comes into Westmont territory from Montanero. And Montanero sends this one deep into Avonworth ice. No icing. Ralston plays it behind his own net. Ralston nonchalantly through center. Right side it comes. Save made by Newman, and the rebound floats wide. Newhouse Godine, who came in with eight assists to co-lead Avonworth on the air, looking for his first goal of the season as this puck goes wide of the crease. Gaddy unable to outmaneuver Downey. Downey trying to bring it up ahead for Hoffman, but that pass intercepted by Gaddy. Gaddy. Dangling around a couple of defenders, but enters the zone offside. 
Westmont Hilltop making a line change before the faceoff just outside the Hilltoppers' blue line, and you get a look at the Westmont bench. Chris Carlson, the man in charge, son of Steve Carlson. And Carlson, the elder Carlson, Steve, dealt kind of a tough health blow during the pandemic, diagnosed with a stage four form of cancer called metastatic squamous cell carcinoma. And Steve, we're happy to say, is putting on the foil and fighting, doing very well in his recovery as Johnny Smallwood scores the 12th Avonworth goal with seven minutes to go on this running second period clock. And the Westmont team just a couple of years ago actually held a big dodgeball tournament with a varsity team involved to raise money for Steve Carlson's cancer treatments. And uh, you love following. I love. I certainly love following Steve on social media. He's very active on Twitter or X, if you prefer. Giving constant updates on his battle against that dirty disease. And we wish Steve nothing but the best. And he is just that, a fighter. And meanwhile, Westmont Hilltop looking to take some positives in any form they can from this contest, which admittedly has gotten out of hand at this point. Cooper Powell pressuring for Avonworth. Powell, cross ice for Ralston. Ralston out in front for Powell. Powell forces a stick save from Cassidy Newman. Connor Gorman back to center. Ralston cutting it off. Ralston spinning through the neutral zone and entering the attacking zone for the Lopes. It comes to Cooper Powell. Powell all alone in front for Dolan, and Dolan knocks it in between the pads of Newman the sophomore, and it's a Baker's dozen for Avonworth. 5.20 to go on a running second period clock. Avonworth coming off an 11-2 victory, also in mercy rule fashion, at the War Memorial over another Johnstown area team, the Richland Rams, last Tuesday. And the Lopes once again scoring in double figures. And once again doing so in mercy rule fashion. They scored the first seven goals of that game against Richland. Avonworth scoring the first four here tonight before scoring nine in a row after Brett Hoffman got Westmont Hilltop on the board. Now next up for the Lopes, they've got kind of a big one, and they've got it here at the Barrel Ice Complex. They are hosting Chartiers Valley, a battle of the unbeatens in the PIHL Class 1A Blue Division, and that'll be next Monday night, 7 o'clock opening faceoff. Avonworth coming into week seven with a 5-0 overall record. Chartiers Valley coming into week seven with a 6-0 overall mark. Once again, the last two unbeaten teams in the division going at it for the first of two times in the regular season next Monday night here in this barn. And what a fun game that should be. Westmont Hilltop, we told you they're playing their first of three away from the War Memorial. Their next home game, fittingly, is against this Avonworth squad as they will complete the season series. And the Hilltoppers have found a second with under three and a half to go till the second interval. Colby Carlson, the rookie, with his second of the campaign. And Westmont, a team playing eight freshmen on its varsity roster, continues to serve its youth. Carlson going to stay on to take the ensuing faceoff as the Avonworth lead is now 13 to 2. And Westmont hosting Avonworth to close out the season series on December the 5th, 6 p.m. opening faceoff at the War, Mem War Memorial that Tuesday night as I untie my tongue. 
Uh, more immediately, next up for the Hilltoppers will be a trip to West by God, Virginia. They will take on Wheeling Park on the road at West Banco Arena. This approaching Thursday night at 7 p.m. Downey picking up his fourth point in his first five PIHL games on the primary assist on the goal by Colby Carlson, the Westmont freshman. So Downey's rookie season off to a nice little start here despite the untoward result that Westmont will have to endure. Final two minutes of the second period. The Lopes with this one well in hand, possess this puck down low and work it to Bevan, who has a goal in this period. Hilltopper send it the length of the ice. Seifarth watches it die on the uncut ice, just shy of the Avonworth goal line, and he slaps it the other direction for an icing call against the Lopes. And the ensuing faceoff is controlled by Seifarth. Up the boards it comes to Cooper Powell. Powell watches this puck played by Alex Nilsson to the boards, and Powell intercepts. Powell makes a move. Powell in his backhand. Powell from his knees, forcing the save from Newman, and Newman leaves the crease to cover the rebound. Now we'll look forward to seeing Cassidy Newman again and. PIHL Girls Division play when the Girls Division returns for year number three of John Muka's grand experiment. And 10-Band TV happy to be the exclusive home of Girls Division hockey coming in spring 2024. We had a lot of fun with that last spring and we're going to have even more this coming spring. Chance before the end of the period for Avonworth and pulling back is Aiden O'Dell trying to do the sportsmanlike thing. O'Dell will just take time off the second period clock as the puck is fired on goal from distance. Newman makes the save on the shot attempt by Garrett Kramer, and that's that. And it appears there will be a nice cut, despite the mercy rule being in effect. So we will step aside for a bit here. The score through two periods of play inside the Galaxy Rink at the Barrel Ice Complex in Warrendale, Pennsylvania. The Avonworth Antelopes 13, the Westmont Hilltop Hilltoppers 2. I'm Matt Popchuk, and you're watching PIHL Hockey Night Live on the PIHL channel, part of 10 Band TV, presented by the Massage Envy in McCandless Township. Third period action around the corner, but first, some music from the 412. self-care from professional massage therapists and estheticians. It's what we do. Massage Envy, where better begins. Jumbo Ice Caramel Drizzle Peppermint Mochaccino. Extra caramel. That's us. I'd love to join you guys at the beach house for a few days, but between my job and the kids, it's just not that easy. Not to mention, how am I squeezing into a bikini after this winter? 
Giving off extra pounds while balancing a family and a career can be tough. And 500 calorie coffees won't get you there either. Weight Loss Direct provides a 24 7 support and one on one coaching to keep you on track and guarantee you success and health. Start your journey at weightlossdirect.com. Are you ready to take your game to the next level? Hey, I'm Tyler Kennedy, 2009 Pittsburgh Penguins Stanley Cup champion here. And trust me, I know what it's like to play to the max. That's why I recommend the patented Heads Up Sports Training System, improving your reaction time and your spatial awareness with this dynamic training system all at your fingertips. Train smarter with endless applications for any position. It's that simple. HeadsUpSTS.com. Play with your head up. All across the United States, each state has what's called an immunization information system. Immunization information systems, or IIS, are confidential, population-based, computerized databases that record all immunization doses administered by participating providers to persons residing within a given geopolitical area. In the United States, every vaccination registry is a bit different, which can become daunting and confusing. Enter PubHub. PubHub solves this issue by giving its providers the ability to connect and communicate to the state registry with one connection and one data format. For example, if a patient has received the COVID-19 vaccine, PubHub allows the provider to see if the patient has already received the vaccine, keeping everything safe and organized for everyone. Two jumbo ice caramel drizzle peppermint mochaccino. Extra caramel. That's us. I'd love to join you guys at the beach house for a few days, but between my job and the kids, it's just not that easy. Not to mention, how am I squeezing into a bikini after this winter? Giving off extra pounds while balancing a family and a career can be tough. And 500 calorie coffees won't get you there either. Weight Loss Direct provides a 24-7 support and one-on-one -on -one coaching to keep you on track and guarantee you success and health. Start your journey at weightlossdirect.com. Hey there, hockey fans. You already know 10 Band TV can stream live regional sports. But did you know you can also stream the best of the local music scene as well? Music from the 412 is live and streaming 24 7 on 10 Band TV. Watch music videos, concerts, and original programming free from the comfort of your couch. Featuring the best of music and artists from Pittsburgh and Western PA. Tune in today. self-care from professional massage therapists and estheticians. It's what we do. Massage Envy, where better begins. Two jumbo ice caramel drizzle peppermint mochaccino. Extra caramel. That's us. I'd love to join you guys at the beach house for a few days, but between my job and the kids, it's just not that easy. Not to mention, how am I squeezing into a bikini after this winter? Giving off extra pounds while balancing a family and a career can be tough. And 500 calorie coffees won't get you there either. Weight Loss Direct provides a 24 7 support and one on one coaching to keep you on track and guarantee you success and health. Start your journey at weightlossdirect.com. Are you ready to take your game to the next level? Hey, I'm Tyler Kennedy, 2009 Pittsburgh Penguins Stanley Cup champion here. And trust me, I know what it's like to play to the max. That's why I recommend the patented 
Heads Up Sports Training System, improving reaction time and your spatial awareness with this dynamic training system all at your fingertips. Train smarter with endless applications for any position. It's that simple. HeadsUpSTS.com. Play with your head up. All across the United States, each state has what's called an immunization information system. Immunization information systems, or IIS, are confidential, population-based, computerized databases that record all immunization doses administered by participating providers to persons residing within a given geopolitical area. In the United States, every vaccination registry is a bit different, which can become daunting and confusing. Enter PubHub. PubHub solves this issue by giving its providers the ability to connect and communicate to the state registry with one connection and one data format. For example, if a patient has received the COVID-19 vaccine, PubHub allows the provider to see if the patient has already received the vaccine, keeping everything safe and organized for everyone. Two jumbo ice caramel drizzle peppermint mochaccino. Extra caramel. That's us. I'd love to join you guys at the beach house for a few days, but between my job and the kids, it's just not that easy. Not to mention, how am I squeezing into a bikini after this winter? Keeping off extra pounds while balancing a family and a career can be tough. And 500 calorie coffees won't get you there either. Weight Loss Direct provides a 24 seven support and one-on-one coaching to keep you on track and guarantee you success and health. Start your journey at weightlossdirect.com. Hey there, hockey fans. You already know 10 Band TV can stream live regional sports. But did you know you can also stream the best of the local music scene as well? Music from the 412 is live and streaming 24 7 on 10 Band TV. Watch music videos, concerts, and original programming free from the comfort of your couch. Featuring the best of music and artists from Pittsburgh and Western PA. Tune in today. self-care from professional massage therapists and estheticians. It's what we do. Massage Envy, where better begins. Two jumbo ice caramel drizzle peppermint mochaccino. Extra caramel. That's us. I'd love to join you guys at the beach house for a few days, but between my job and the kids, it's just not that easy. Not to mention, how am I squeezing into a bikini after this winter? Keeping off extra pounds while balancing a family and a career can be tough. And 500 calorie coffees won't get you there either. Weight Loss Direct provides a 24 seven support and one-on-one -on -one coaching to keep you on track and guarantee you success and health. Start your journey at weightlossdirect.com. Are you ready to take your game to the next level? Hey, I'm Tyler Kennedy, 2009 Pittsburgh Penguins Stanley Cup champion here. And trust me, I know what it's like to play to the max. That's why I recommend the patented Heads Up Sports Training System, improving reaction time and your spatial awareness with this dynamic training system all at your fingertips. Train smarter with endless applications for any position. It's that simple. Heads Up STS.com. Play with your head up. All across the United States, 
Each state has what's called an immunization information system. Immunization information systems, or IIS, are confidential, population-based, computerized databases that record all immunization doses administered by participating providers to persons residing within a given geopolitical area. In the United States, every vaccination registry is a bit different, which can become daunting and confusing. Enter PubHub. PubHub solves this issue by giving its providers the ability to connect and communicate to the state registry with one connection and one to side of the far post by Newman. Out in front it comes, shot, score! Cooper Powell nuzzles that nylon, 67 seconds. Visit the shop at 10 Band TV and check out all the great pre-Black Friday deals available now from our associate partner, Amazon. Every holiday purchase that you make through the 10 Band TV shop supports PIHL coverage and other regional content on our station. As always, thanks for watching and shopping on 10band.tv. Matt Popchock back with you here inside the Galaxy Rink at the Barrel Ice Complex in Warrendale, Pennsylvania for Game 1 of 2 in our Week 7 PIHL Hockey Night Live doubleheader on the PIHL channel, part of 10 Band TV, presented by the Massage Envy in McCandless Township. Avonworth leading Westmont Hilltop 13-2 in PIHL Class 1A Blue Division play on the penalty kill, excuse me, on the power play, a three-minute minor power play with the Mercy Roll being in effect to begin period three as we're back to action here. And this shot by Garrett Kramer from distance is denied by Cassidy Newman despite the screen provided by Newhouse Godin, the alternate captain. Westmont Hilltop coming in just 57.1% on the PK, second from the bottom of the 24-team single-A classification. Avonworth coming in red hot on the power play this season. 21.1%. Bringing them up to number 10 in the 24 team circuit. 10 different Avonworth skaters unofficially with at least one goal tonight. For the time being, Jackson Pokillo, the sophomore debutante, has been credited on the fifth Avonworth goal with his first PIHL varsity tally, but we believe that goal upon video review will be credited to Baylor Kirsch. But for now, it's been given to Pukillo as the Lopes try to score on Newman's doorstep, but a good clearing effort there by Colby Carlson, who had the second Westmont goal. 50 seconds to go in the Lopes power play, the only power play of the game for either of these teams. 14.40 to go on a running third period clock. Smallwood. Centers it for nobody in particular, and the Hilltoppers nearly missed a shorthanded breakaway to Ethan Downey. Downey unable to recapture that puck in the far corner. Lopes get it back to center for one last rush on the power play. Seifarth knocked off the puck neatly by Carlson. Danny Mack plays it in front of his crease. Ralston had trouble with that one at the boards. Downey pressuring shorthanded for Westmont. Downey. From between the circles. Shooting on Danny Mack, and he makes a save from distance. Ralston at the end of the power play. Centers it for the Lopes. And it comes the other way now for Ralston. Ralston and Seifarth playing pitch and catch. Teams back to five aside. Early third period as Ralston is knocked down by Hoffman. Play continues. Gaddy fakes out Replogle. Gaddy across the line. Gaddy dropping for Ralston. Instead, it'll come around the far side to Smallwood. Near corner, the Hilltoppers play it. Gaddy out in front. 
on the doorstep for Seifarth. Gaddy still fighting for this puck out in front of Newman. It's loose at the side of the net and clear to the boards. A good play in his own end there by Replogel to help out his goaltender. Downing has to tag up and does, but lost the puck to Gaddy. Lopes deliberately making a line change here as they carry this puck deep in their own end. Jack Dolan, who has the hat trick for Avonworth, centering it for Bevan. And the Hilltoppers play it back through the neutral zone. Mack watches it go by to his left. Aiden O'Dell. From his own corner, Dolan calling for the puck. Unable to get the attention of Odell, now he does. And Odell will crank it wide of goal from 65 feet. Lopes played in front of their own bench. Dolan sees it go all the way back to his goaltender, Danny Mack. Lead pass now for Dolan. Dolan over the attacking line for the Lopes. Dolan makes a move. Dolan centering for Odell. Odell just misses the net. No, oh, everything there but the execution. One of the few things offensively that Avonworth hasn't done right tonight. Bevan from distance. So that bouncing puck went just wide of Newman. And the Lopes just indiscriminately throwing every puck they can on net. And they've already overwhelmed... The Westmont sophomore for 13. Lopes are going to go to 6-0. Westmont Hilltop going to fall to 0-6 after tonight. Waiting in the wings for game two of our doubleheader as Odell drives the net and puts it off Newman's glove is another 6-0 team coming into week seven, the Shaler Titans. And the Titans paying a visit to the Mars Planets here at the Barrel Ice Complex at around 9 o'clock Eastern time. So we hope you'll stick around for that one as we shift gears to the Class A Gold Division from the Class A Blue Division, which is in action as we speak. Ten teams of the 24 and Class 1A switching divisions this year. Switching to blue from gold were Avonworth, Moon, Shar Valley, Blackhawk, Beaver, and Wheeling Park. Switching to gold from blue were Greensburg, Salem, Penguins Cup champion, Kiski area, Indiana, and the aforementioned Shaler Titans. Sam Klein playing it from behind his own net. It comes up to Baylor Kirsch. Kirsch behind the defense, behind the net now as he continues to play this puck for Avonworth. Kirsch trying to tee it up at the point for Klein, but Klein was too well covered and the pass never got there. Downey got in the way of that one and sent the play the other direction for Westmont. Hoffman in pursuit, worked off the puck by Baylor Kirsch. And Shields is shot up ahead of the play, is off a defenseman stick and wide. Lopes sending in around the boards. And out in front it comes. It's chipped wide by Bukillo, the sophomore. Montanero up through center for Westmont. Montanero with space down the right flank now as he puts it out in front for nobody in particular. Closest man to it for Westmont was Nate Ling. But here come the Lopes. Baylor Kirsch, edge of the right wing circle. Kirsch ridden into the corner by Nate Ling. As we hit the midpoint of this running third period clock, it remains Avonworth 13, Westmont Hill top two. Gaddy from the high slot area. Off Newman's glove. That was a good save by the second year Tendy. And Westmont is going to ice this puck with 8.20 to go.
Well, special thanks to our friends at Massage Envy for sponsoring the 2023-2024 season of PIHL Hockey Night Live on the PIHL channel. And you can scan the Massage Envy QR code on your screen throughout tonight's doubleheader for a $75 first visit for a massage or facial. Select locations only. Lopes shoot, and the Lopes score for the 14th time tonight was 742, excuse me, remaining in this third period. And Connor Ralston making his presence felt back in the Savinworth lineup after multitasking with a couple of junior teams. Avonworth 14, Westmont Hilltop 2. Ralston with a four-point night for the Lopes. He came in tonight with seven on the regular season. One of three 2022-2023 PIHL All-Stars returning to Stephen LaShawn's varsity lineup this year. Dolan sends it over the line for Odell. Odell had too many red jerseys in the way. Cooper Power treating. And by the way, we neglected to mention the guilty party on the Westmont penalty that happened as time expired in period two. That was Alex Nilsson of the Hilltoppers getting the gate for roughing. Westmont killing off that power play chance, of course, so the point perhaps moot, but wanted to make sure we set the record straight on that. Garrett Kramer from distance forcing the blocker save by Newman with under six to go on the running clock. Again, coming up next, we've got more PIHL Class 1A action to open week number seven of the regular season. The Shaler Titans trying to preserve their unbeaten record and take a page out of Avonworth's book as they take on the host Mars Fighting Planets. Mars, one of the all-time great teams in PIHL Class A history, returning to Class 1A this season after spending some time in PIHL Class 2A. Meadville, Mars, and Butler all coming down to 1A this year. And in their place, North Hills, Norwin, and Fox Chapel all coming up to Class 2A for the 23-24 campaign. And it's an exciting North Hills area rivalry. It's an interesting game, too. Shaler, a team that's very blue collar, and they've got a lot of offensive talent, just like Avonworth has. Mars, more of a grinding defensive team, and coached by a former PIHL player that we'll tell you more about at the beginning of game number two. And we've got a very interesting coaching matchup in game number two. Let's just put it that way. And we look forward to seeing that in just a little bit. Clock winding to 4.30 remaining in period three. Avonworth 14, Westmont Hilltop 2. As the Lopes are about to earn a second consecutive victory via Mercy Roll in Class A Blue Division action. And picking off this lead pass, this breakout pass, I should say, is Pukillo of Avonworth. Westmont recovering. Nilsson from his own end, sending this puck off an Avonworth stick, and it goes all the way the length of the ice. Pukillo will ice this puck now for the Lopes with 3.40 to go. Ralston and Seifarth, both with four-point nights for Avonworth. Matching stat lines, two goals, a couple of assists. 
A five-point night for Dolan and for Austin Gaddy as well as Gaddy has netted a pair for the loops. Garrett Kramer and Sam Klein as we speak. The only Avonworth skaters in Stephen LaShawn's Monday night lineup without a point as we have 2.50 to go in period three. Downey from the right wing circle was dispossessed. Hilltoppers trying to support the puck, but Montanaro unable to keep it alive at the right point. Lopes in transition. Between the circles, it's sent back to center and a chance for Hoffman building speed over the attacking line. Hoffman to the goal. Hoffman makes a move and save is made by Danny Mack and Mack covers the rebound with Colby Carlson looking to stab it underneath Mack's left leg pad. Now Hoffman made a similar move on his first goal, the first Westmont Hilltop goal of this game for that matter. Uh, Mack anticipating nicely that time. So Mack will win for the fourth time in as many starts. Avonworth as a team coming in with only 93 shots on goal allowed. The second fewest in the 1A classification. So they're a team that not only has an experienced goaltender in Mack, but they defend as a team very well. And they've been defending generally a lot better than they did a season ago, and I think that's been a big difference for the Lopes. They're coming together in that phase of the game and becoming maybe a more complete team and a team that doesn't necessarily have to outscore whatever deficiencies it has. Although you're going to outscore a lot of deficiencies with 14 goals, I grant you, but you know, the Lopes doing what most would expect a very good team to do to a team that is going through its share of struggles early in the season. Lopes as a team allowing only five shots on goal thus far tonight. So continuing that stifling defensive play as we have 40 seconds remaining in this game. Snapshot from the left circle bounces in on Newman and she made an unconscious, stay, unconscious save, excuse me, standing up as both teams will make one last line change as the clock continues to wind under 20 seconds before they drop the puck to Newman's right. Five seconds remaining. And the Hilltoppers will not get one last crack at Danny Mack as Avonworth goes to 6-0 on the season. So the Lopes handle their business in the first of three straight coming back home. Your final score tonight, the Avonworth Antelopes 14, the Westmont Hilltop Hilltoppers 2. Thank you, executive producer Todd Kazarowski. Thank you, Mobile camera operator Kennedy Kazarowski for all your hard work, and thank you for watching and listening. Shaler at Mars is next on PIHL Hockey Night Live on the PIHL channel, part of 10 Band TV, and it's all presented by the Massage Envy at McCandless Township. I'm Matt Popchock, and we will see you on the other side here in Warrendale.